Hi, I'm Bjorn Stolt from Martin Professional and welcome to this P3 quick tip video on Align and Spread. We start off by setting the fixture number range we want to use for the first fixtures. Select the Mac Aura PXL and then click out 8 fixtures on the canvas, which could be a nice truss rig. Deselect them, do not add any more fixtures, select all of them, right click over one of them and choose a line or use the keyboard shortcuts A to choose a line. Then look up here on the left corner and press align vertically, which aligns all the fixtures vertically in a row. And then go over to spread and set the horizontal spread to let's say 150 pixels, which we're using here, or just use the scroll bar on the mouse to scroll across the range to make them wider or not wider, but we'll leave it at 150 pixels. So here we go. This could be a truss rig with a bunch of Skeptrons. No, a bunch of PXLs. Then we go down to video Skeptrons. We change the unit number range to be 201. So the Skeptrons are starting from 201. We start up above the PXLs hit shortcut key R to rotate so we have a horizontal line and then click out a bunch of Skeptrons. Let's see how many we have. We have 9. Let's do 11 to cover the whole range. There we go. Select all of them. Hit A again to get myself aligned vertically. And as you see here, they are overlapping now and it's kind of untidy. So now I can set my spread into being, yeah, well, let's say they are Skeptrons, they are 100 pixels wide. So let's set the spread to 100 pixels to make a continuous line. Then we select this line, align it over the PXLs. Then we hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make a different, uh, another line. Select all the Skeptrons, because as you see here, the lines are very close to each other right now. So now we hit the shortcut S to spread them. We want to spread the lines vertically. So now there you see they are two pixels apart. But if we scroll up, you see they will maintain their lines. So they maintain the horizontal selection. And now I will go to close. So I'll just leave it at 50 pixels. So that means we have two lines of vertically aligned Skeptrons that's continuous with 11 fixtures in each line. We can then add eight more Skeptrons. So basically one underneath each PXL. But to get them perfectly aligned, we select all of them, hit the shortcut A, align them vertically, make sure the spread is also 150 pixels in order to get the lines where we want them. But then, you know what, maybe we should have three lines. So I hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V two times to create more Skeptrons. So now I have three lines that you see here that they are quite spread out. So now I select all of them, hit my shortcut key S. I will align these ones vertically. And you see they are closing in to the center one. So actually, at 100 pixels, they make perfect 3 meter Skeptron lines. And then we have a nicely tidied up stage setup with horizontally and vertically aligned fixtures. So that is an overview of the align and spread function. Thank you very much.